Hello. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, hello. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome to our English class. How are you? Thank you. Wow, guys, you surprised me because you are always on time here. So that's really awesome. Uh, watching the clock, it's ready to start a class, right? So welcome to everybody. It's uh, for me a great opportunity, you know, to start every day with different opportunities to learn the language, to practice and to be good. Just give me one second. I need to place the I need to place the charger. One moment, please. Los demás chicos no se conectan tampoco, ¿verdad? No, no se les ve en la cámara. No, y se supone que ese es un requisito que se vea en la cara. No, lo que pasa es que no sé. A lo mejor le está Good fallando evening. el inter. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yo porque todavía estoy comiendo. Ok, buen provecho. Yes. Provecho. Que no tengan algo. <risa> Pues sí, aprovechando, ¿verdad? <risa> ok, ya le puse el cargador, así que ya estoy, estamos ya para unas tres horas de casa, así que no hay problema. Uh, uh. Me va a descontrolar. <risa> Démosle. Démosle. Todo, todo para largo, una vigilia de, de inglés. <risa> ok. Démosle la vigilia de inglés. <risa> Tichera, right, ayer sí. no pude terminar mi clase. Tuve problemas con la energía eléctrica, se iba, se venía, se quitaba y así sucesivamente. Yeah, I, I, I know, but don't worry because um, was very very difficult the, the situation because of the of the rain. Eh, por lo mismo de la lluvia, eso también afectó varios lugares. So don't worry about it, miss. It's comprehensive. Hasta otras personas también tuvieron problemas con el internet, entonces es como que. Wow, that was, that was a problem. Pero bueno, lo importante es que estamos acá y siempre hacemos un feedback eh, about the class, about the activities. And we are 11, 11 in this moment. So we, we see here eh, eh, gallery view. Ok, hoy sí. Uh, vamos a ver, ¿a quiénes tenemos acá? Tenemos a Zaira, eh, Wendy, yes. Brenda, eh, Brian, Anna, Marisol, Jose Arnoldo, and... Christian and Omar, welcome guys to everybody. It's it's a it's a pleasure to have you back here, ready to, to practice English, to learn, and uh, well, we are actually doing the best. And I would like to ask you guys, how's the weather like? How's the weather like where you live? Uh, how's the weather like? Almost el clima. It's sunny, windy. Cloudy, clear. Cloudy. It's cloudy. cloudy. It's cloudy. Okay. It's cloudy. Okay. It's cloudy. Okay. Is is this warm? Is, is the weather warm? Warm. Caluroso. Warm. It's warm, okay. Relax. It's relaxed. Okay. It's relaxed the weather. Nice, nice. All I right. Have my I have my vaccination today. Oh, you, you were vaccinated or not? Were you yeah. vaccinated? And how do you feel? Oh, I'm With superpowers. I'm fine. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, because people say that the vaccination, we got the superpowers. Así que hoy, adiós mascarilla. Ah, no, just kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm zombie. <laughs> people say that, 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 well, depending what kind of vaccination is, like the Chinese or the raw channel, the European vaccinations, we don't, we don't know about. But that's okay. So we always need to take care and also wear a mask. I got a... I got a mask here by any chance. So we had to be alert by any chance. 
Well, we're going to start today because it's actually the time. So I need to first to pass the attendance list. Just allow me just one second because I need to open the attendance list and to see your names and my beautiful name too here. Let me see. One moment. Okay, looking for your names. I'm checking your names right now. So let me see how many of you are here. One second. Wow, so the time is going very fast. Okay, Wednesday. Wednesday, let's go. Uh, Anna. Okay, Anna is not here. Anna Lilian Reyes. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Brenda Beatriz Calderon. Present. Um, Brian Javier Carmona. Present teacher. Uh, Christian Ernesto Lazo. No se ha unido Christian todavía. Uh, David Orlando Alvarez. Present. Okay, uh, David. Eli Atzael Matut. Yes. Eli. No está Eli. Uh, Sir, Eli creo que aún sigue eh, cuidando a su mamá. Uh, Ella está uh, bastante enferma. Sí, sí, sí. Bueno, a ver, a ver qué tal, qué, qué, qué noticias tenemos de él. Ok, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for letting Teacher. me know. Yes. Teacher, Christian is here, but don't. Don't respond. Really? Is Christian here? Okay, we're going to check. We're going to check. Um, Guillermo Antonio Garcia. Present. Oh, Guillermo Antonio, are you there? Yeah. Okay, Guillermo. Eh, Jose Arnoldo Mazariego. Present. Eh, Jose Rodrigo Hernández. Jose. Ok, está José acá, ok. Eh, Karen Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Uh, Marisol Betsania Pacheco. Present. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. So he's not here yet. Eh, Mauricio Antonio. Eh, Mauricio Enrique García. Mauricio Enrique García. No está tampoco. Eh, Mauricio eh, Ernesto Gutiérrez. Present. Excelente. Eh, Mayra Peraliz Moreno. Present. Uh, Omar Francisco Hernández. Present. Ok, thank you, Omar. And Saida Marleni. Present. Cool, cool. And uh, Wendy Maribel. Present, teacher. Thank you. And Jenny Suleima Santos. Present. All right, thank you so much. Okay, let's start. Let's start today, guys. Well, um, I would like to ask you something important about the class. And let me tell you that I'm actually very... Um, Wow, so I'm very surprised because all the time you are here in class, so that's cool. Eh, felicitarlo porque ustedes siempre están en clases, eh, la mayoría, eh, y han sido bastante responsables. Eso es bastante bueno. Uno, nos garantiza un mejor aprendizaje del idioma, es decir, el estudiante que está constantemente en clases. Eh, bueno, primero se le ve el interés y también el nivel de aprendizaje va a ser bastante rápido. Significa que en un par de meses ustedes van a estar hablando en inglés calidad, o sea, y se los digo por, por la experiencia, pues ya tenemos bastante tiempo en esto, entonces vemos bastante potencial. Hay que aprovecharlo y dice, dice un dicho por ahí que la, la paciencia es la madre de la ciencia, es una frase. Entonces, si tenemos paciencia y perseverancia, we can reach everything that we have in our mind. And also to speak English. 
Así que vamos a iniciar. Um, but I would like to ask you guys, what did we study yesterday? Can you tell me what do you remember about the last class? What were we discussing in the class? What exercises we did? Tell me something we did yesterday. Please help me. Deme en clases, porque no me acuerdo. Deme en clasecitas. ¿Qué hicimos? What did we do yesterday? We studied about, we studied about instruction or in, in simple commands. Okay. What else? For example, write, die, give, supervise. Awesome. That was great. That was actually great. Okay. Okay. Uh, highlight the class. So tell me what else, guys. You would do like to socialize. We we providing instructions and something important. Commands. What commands do you remember, guys? What commands? What actions or commands do you remember? ¿Qué acciones o comandos ustedes recuerdan? Take out. Ok. Come here. Ok, come here. Sit down. Eh, shut up. Oh, shut up. <laughs> ok. All right. Look at this. So we studied this one and we talk about how often do you write memos and how often do you give instructions? If you give instructions like, yes, I give instructions, so I don't give instructions. I just write some memos to my partners and everything, colleagues. Having a conversation about some commands like send, write, give, and supervise. Because supervise is a verb, but at the same time, it's a command. For example, uh, you say, uh, Karen said that, that I need to supervise this. So we're giving a command. Please give me one of those memos. Uh, please write a memo. Please call a, call Wendy. So this is a call. This is a kind of command through a verb that there's something, a magic word that we need to use. ¿Cuál es esa palabra mágica que tenemos que usar junto al comando? Ustedes se recuerdan. Please. Please, please, please. please. So, please. Son, de las, son de las magic words. Cuando ustedes estaban en la escuela, ¿se acuerdan que había un murito donde decía, creo que eran magic words? <laughs> I, I don't remember exactly. When you were in school. Eh, good morning, good afternoon, welcome. Come in. Uh, please, sit down. So, the magic words, so we had to use magic words. Eh, do you use magic words? Like, you say good morning to people, good afternoon. Do you use these kind words? Usually. Usually, okay. Like, uh, you always do it, right? That's important. Because people, they are in the streets and they don't talk, right? Hay personas en otros lugares, en otros países, que usted pasa y usted le dice buenos días, no le contestan. No es, no es su cultura, no. No saludan. So we do it. So because it's like very formal. Teacher, yes. Creo que hay personas en El Salvador que se creen de su país. En serio. Y les digo. Eh, uno, yeah, Porque uno many, saluda many, y no le contesta. Many person. Many people. Yeah. Many people do that. Right. Honestly. You say good morning. And they are like. Quizás no me entendió mi español. Puede ser. What? Don't vez. listen. Oh my God. Quizás hablan otro idioma. Porque yo dije buenos días. So good morning. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Uh, that's very formal expressions, right? Así me dijo una amiga que está en the United States and she says that y dice de que las personas, eh, the color people, the color people, eh, a veces hay personas que uno dice buenos días y no los saludan. Solo se les quedan viendo. No, no saludan. They don't have this kindness to say good morning. Oh, hi, how are you? So people didn't do it, but that's the way. And also the commands, please, plus call the supervisor, please. Please place an order. And also we work in this vocabulary, like write please, write a tag, uh, send a memo, check the report, supervise the employees, go to a meeting. 
So, some common expressions, right? Entonces, también hicimos esto. Uh, what do you think your classmates boss want him or her to do tomorrow? This is what we do, guys. So, that was a very interesting class yesterday. So, we learned vocabulary. And also, some comments are actually are very common. Let's continue today with the, today's class, with the topic. And uh, I'm going to share it right now. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Okay, I start. We have here. Okay, let's see. Uh, Wendy, help me to read the topic. Okay. Modulo, así se, se pronuncia. Modulo. Oh, no, in this case, only the topic. It's model. So, but we say model. Modulo. <laughs> Modulo. Okay. Yeah. Modulo. Model. Two. Model. You, you need to ongoing activities at the workplace. Video conference. Eight. How to, how to use, how to, need to. Okay, have to and need to are words, are verbs that are related to commands, to request. When we need something, you say, ah, I'm sorry, I, I have to do this. I need to work in this. I need to check this. So actually, those important verbs in the process. Okay, vamos con el primero. Uh, let me see. Um, Jose, help me to read the what we will be able to get. What, Jose? Arnold. Arnold. Thanks. Thanks. I will be able to state the frequency of activity I do in my work. Use expression to state urgency are common. Okay, I will be able to. Seré capaz de. When you say I will be able to, Es decir, yo seré capaz de, so I will be able to state the frequency, at evidence. I do my work, right? Use expressions or states the urgent comments. Excellent. That's what we're gonna get, guys, today in the class. That's one of the things we're going to reach. So we're going to be patient and we're going to work on that. Let's see, vamos con la primera actividad. Ya estamos, ya calentamos, ya. Estamos activos. Ya Ana Lilian me está diciendo que ya comencemos ya con la primera actividad. Así que vamos a hacer caso a Ana Lilian, all right? Let's do it. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, so let's start. We have two questions that we're going to socialize here in the class. And Brenda, help Brenda Beatriz, help me to read the two questions that we're going to socialize today in the class. <clears throat> oh, sorry, teacher. Don't worry. Uh, what are the... What are three things you do every in your workplace? What is something you never do in your workplace? All right. Thank you so much, right? So the three things, the three things you do every day at your workplace. I mean, we do a lot of things because we are very busy working in papers, checking some information, but I want you to focus about the three most important things you do every day in your workplace. No me vaya a decir ahí, teacher, yo desayuno ahí, va. No, sino que tres cosas importantes que haga ahí en el trabajo. Three important things that you do in the job. Related to your job, of course. Okay. And the question number two, what is something you never do in your workplace? Algo que usted no hace en su lugar de trabajo. Dormir, por ejemplo, se me viene a la mente. Yo no puedo dormir en mi trabajo, so. A menos que ahí de escondida se duerme a usted, ¿verdad? Pero no creo. Lo veo con estilo de trabajadores, así que no aplica para ustedes. It doesn't match with you guys. So, what is something you never do in your workplace? Well, I do many things that I don't know what I never do in my workplace. I Anything? don't take the dinner. You don't take dinner? Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, eating, uh, eating, it's, that would be one. Uh, I don't eat in, in my workplace. Puede ser también, it's something that you don't do. O por ejemplo, alguien me decía ahí, I, I never make phone calls. 
because there is a special department that is in charge to contact people by phone. So that would be one or two. So think about it, think about it. And they were going to socialize. What are the three things you do in your workplace? Y si alguien se va incorporando, me dice, teacher, ya me estoy incorporando porque como pasamos la primera lista de asistencia, entonces algunos entran y pues no, 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 se, no dicen, aquí estoy, teacher, mira, aquí estoy. Ok, so we can take that into account. Mi teacher. Who, who says me? José Rodrigo. José, ok, let me check. Jose. No puede. Ok. José Rodrigo. Ok. We got it. Ok. Uh, José Arnoldo, you can, you can share what you have, what information you have um, about the two questions. Yes. Okay, Jose. Oh, the microphone is off. Sorry, sorry. Usually in my work, I receive suppliers, buy purchase order, and create a code for new products. And mm -hmm. Rarely, rarely or, or never supervising the parking lot, arrive early at work and have, have problems with my partner. Nice, that's very interesting. First, I would like to highlight that you do something very important in the company. In the opposite side, I, I I like the two ways you, you answer The first one, that you never have issues with, uh, with employees or coworkers. So always working with respectful everybody. And also- Normally with, normally with my coworkers. Mm -hmm. But the other partner, maybe. <laughs> okay. Para aclarar ahí, okay. And you said yeah. that you never, you never, you never arrive early to work, or you never arrive late. You never arrive. Uh, what is? I it? never arrive late. Late. Ah, you never. Yes. Okay. You are always on time. Always. Always, I try to arrive early. Okay. Interesting. That that is something that many of us need to improve. Like me, for example. Error de dedo. Okay, cool. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. Um, somebody else? Me. Yes. Um, number one, uh, check the inmates. Number two, fill out report. Uh, number three, Matter um, calls clients. Um, what is something you never in your workplace? I never comment uh, with my colleagues about things that are not my work. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Can you repeat that, please? Um, always no. check the area of the job, check the money, assign a signal task, my co workers. I should not speak loudly to me co workers. Hmm. Yes, like a screaming, como hablarle fuerte o gritarles <laughs> a los co workers, like scream. 
Okay, that's cool, that's cool. So, and also she is in charge of the money. Okay, that's okay. So it's, it's something very serious. It's something very serious to work with money. So uh, exactly accounts, cuentas exactas, right? Exactly. Check the balance about the money. So this, this job has to be perfect because you had to, as we say, work with the money exactly, the exactly amounts and also exactly accounts. That's cool. Okay, somebody else? Somebody Wendy. else? Yes? Wendy. Okay, Wendy. Me, Wendy. Yes. I call the clients every day in my workplace. I attend the clients every day in my work, my workplace. And I answer WhatsApp every day in my work. Place. Okay, so this is something that you don't do, right? You don't you don't check, you don't answer WhatsApp uh, in your in your workplace. Yes. Okay, that's okay because sometimes people are like working and they are texting, and sometimes for some people or bosses, this would be like a, a disruptive that. You are chatting and you're not paying attention in the job. So sometimes. Yeah, uh, what's, what's up? Oh, clients. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Clients or oh, boss. Okay. To, to, to answer. Okay. I never sleep in my work, in my workplace. I never eat. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. No time. No time I to sleep. never eat. No, I never eat dinner in my workplace, and I never play soccer in my workplace. Wow! Never play soccer in <laughs> the workplace. <laughs> that is funny. That is funny to play soccer in the workplace. <laughs> but no, it's something that you cannot do. Yeah. So it's not a sports. Not a sports. Not anywhere. Play soccer. Como? What? In a call center, you play soccer. In a call center, you can play soccer. <laughs> no. Cool. Okay. And also tennis, table tennis too. A lot of entertainment. Okay, cool. Okay, so we're going to share this information right now. Vamos a compartirlo rápidamente. Eh, vamos a formar parejas y vamos a compartir la información. Vamos a tener eh, un tiempo breve, like... Uh, six minutes, three for each, and we're going to share this this answer. So, congratulations to the guys that they were, you know, they they wanted to participate and also to be the examples. Let me see how many members. Okay, automatically. Okay, vamos a compartir nuestra información con su compañero. We have six minutes to do it. Brenda, Brenda Beatriz, Brenda, eh, no sé si está acá Brenda Beatriz, and we cannot be waiting, we're going to move into a different group.
Brenda. Perfecto. Okay. Guillermo, what are three things do you every day in your workplace? Oh, uh, attend the client, uh, check my email, um, order of products. Uh, the question number two, what is something you never do in your workplace? I repeat, what is something you never do in your workplace? Uh, never, <laughs> never gaming with my mobile. mobile. Uh, never read, read comics. <laughs> Solo dos me dijiste, ¿verdad? Sí. Va, ok. Pues pregúnteme. Ok. David. What are the... What are the things you do every day in your workplace? Eh, I do this uh, three activities. I write, I write reports, I do analysis on account statement, and I call a meeting once, once a month. Okay. Repeat, what is... Si gusta. Repito si gusta, Guillermo. Please. I write a report. I do analysis on account statement. I call uh, a meeting once a month. Uh, esa última, perdón. I call a meeting once a month. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, two. What is something you never do in your workplace? In my workers, never do uh, I never uh, I never make decision about uh, about another area. Repeat, please. I never make decision or I never make decision about another area. Oh, okay. I never process anything without counsel. <laughs> Those involvement, involvement, algo así creo que sería. Involvement. Involvement. Con los involucrados creo que se, se, se dice. Involvement. Ajá. Así se dice, teacher. Eh, with the particip participant to be too. Perdón. Les eh, escuché cortado. Participants. Eh... Eh, o cuál es o sea, la palabra usted me dijo con los involucrados in, involve people eh, involve people ajá uh -huh, that would be I think a little much better so like involve people ah, okay I never process anything without consulting those involve people eh, si usted por ejemplo ocupa those involve eh, Entonces no es necesario utilizar, eh, porque those, esta palabra those, es una, es un adjetivo demostrativo. Those involve. Mm. Ok, eh, así. Mm -hmm. Yo okay. creo que usted, así lo escuché. Así lo escuché. Sí, así Ok, es. si ocupó sí. those, está bien. Ah, ok. 
The number three, I never fall asleep in a meeting. Client. Client, client. Es mm -hmm. otra, la otra pregunta. What is something you never do in your workplace? I never comment why, what my colleagues about things that are no work. Uh, ¿cómo, eh, sería never, ¿Cómo sería eso? ¿Cómo sería eso? Sería no nunca comento con mis colegas cosas que no sean del trabajo. Ok, I never comment. Eh, never things, comment. Eh, vamos a ver, quiero ver, sería I never comment. Things that are not related eh, to the job, podría ser, ¿verdad? Como cosas que no son relacionadas al trabajo, are not related, are not involved to the job. I never think, ¿qué quiere decir things? De cosa... Eh, si lo está pronunciando así es thing, de cosa, pero, pero la otra es think, que significa pensar. Um, think. Uh -huh. Think. El otro es think. 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 Ajá, y suena la K, es como pensar. Ajá. Y la otra es thing, de cosa. Think. Casi iguales, ¿verdad? Ajá. Casi. Think. I never comment things that are not related. 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 Related to the jobs. So I, I never comment things. I never comment things, things that are not related to the job. Yeah, are not related. Are not related to the job. Uh -huh. Related sería relacionado Ajá. al trabajo. I think that. Yes. That... Relacionadas al trabajo. O sea, en es... ¿Sí? Continue, continue. Okay. Sí, sí, sí. What are what are three things you do every every day in your workplace? Always check the area the job uh, is number one. Number two, check the money. Number three, assign the task my coworkers. What is something you never do do in your workplace? I should not speak loudly to my coworkers. Que era no puedo hablarle o gritarles a mis compañeros de trabajo. ¿Qué teacher para decir? Uh, Hago llamadas a los clientes, está bien decir um, max, max calls to clients. Microphone. Eh, pues ya me pasó a mí. Usted puede decir, eh, I make phone calls, es eh, decir, puedo hacer llamadas telefónicas a los clientes o yo hago llamadas a los clientes. So I make calls to the, to the clients. Uh -huh. 
puede decir? I need phone calls. I need, I need phone calls. I make. Mi lengua. I make. Make. Yes. Lo que sucede es que cuando usted dice llamadas, eh, pues es como telefónicas, le agrega algo más. Entonces, make phone I calls. I make call, call phone. Phone calls. The client. Eh, to the clients. Is in el chat. El chat. Look at the chat. Okay, 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 okay. I make phone call to the clients. I make phone call. I make phone call I make to the client. I make phone call phone to the call. client. Phone. Pone, el teacher dice, se pronuncia phone. I make phone call to the client. Así, teacher. Yes, exactly. Okay, pregunto, pregunto. Uh, eh, Ana Lilia. Yes. What are three, three things you do every day in your workplace? I check. Eh, de email. Teacher, para decir este lleno reporte, estaría bien decir fill out report. Yes, you can say it. Yes. Yes, exactly. Fill out report. Eh, I make phone call the clients. Number three, okay. What is something, something you never do in your workplace? I never come in, pardon. I never come in uh, that are not relat, relat, related, 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 related. 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 I never comment uh, things that are not related to, to the job. Okay. Hoy pregunte. Ya casi nos queda sí, un minuto, eh, así que me voy a mover a otro grupo y luego pues ya casi nos queda el tiempo, así que eh, continúen, sorry. Thank you, thank you, thank you, teacher. Great. What? No, I can't understand. Wrong, wrong, es equivocado, verdad? No yes. Ah, sí. Hi, teacher. Oh. Hello. Hello. Hi. Eh, estábamos practicando, Ticha. Excelente. <ríe> Nos pusimos a leer otra vez. Ok, ya casi vamos a, vamos a regresar a la plenaria. Ok, eh, practicamos una vez más para que nos escuchen. Me parece. What are, are three things do you every day, every day in your workplace? I drink coffee always. I check my email and I call the supplier. What is sometime do you never do in your workplace? Uh, there is something. Sería something. 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 Yes. I never say to client in my workplace and I never sleep in my work. Okay. Um, ahora le pregunto yo. What are three things you do every day in your workplace? I delegate tasks to my coworker. I verify cash on vehicle sticker. I check my me my email all day. Okay. What is something you never do in your workplace? I do not leave provision weapons. 
I never leave the department open. I never hand over weapons without registration. Okay, great. Thank you, that's great. Okay, I think everybody's here. So we're going to continue guys with the activities. Um, let me tell you that we are talking about, a, well, different things that we do in the job. So we're going to have a reading. So I want you to listen carefully. Vamos a ver. Okay, vamos a, vamos a leer esta parte del reading. Quiero que pongan mucha atención porque en base a esto, Vamos a, vamos a escribir nuestro propio párrafo. Entonces, usted se va a convertir en un famous writer about what you do in the company. So I will read twice and just uh, follow uh, the reading, please. Do me that favor. Okay, let's go. It says, um, reading, read about Mr. Wilson. Check the correct sentences and correct grown ones. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and notes so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference. On July 22nd, I am always busy. Okay, I will read it again. I will read it again. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resource says manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning. Teacher, pardon. Pardon, yo creo que está lloviendo por donde usted va porque se me congela su imagen. En serio. ¿Y a los demás? Los demás. No, se no, se no, 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 teacher. No, no teacher. <coughs> no teacher. Entonces, ¿lo ven bien? Sí. Yes. 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 Clear. Ya me había asustado. Ah, pues quizás él. El... El de él quizás le está fallando. Quizás, ¿verdad? Están asustando, dije yo. Pero no, pues no, estamos bien ahí, estamos bien. Ok. Bueno, eh, vamos a ver desde el principio. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference. 
on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Igual que yo. <laughs> a ver, vocabulary. Vocabulary that you don't understand or words that it's, are not so familiar to you guys. Um, ask questions about vocabulary. Yes? Eh, ¿No hay preguntas sobre vocabulario? No. Okay. Well, after we read this, uh, we have this reading, we're going to answer the following part. Look at this one. Uh, we had to read again. And it says, number one, his name is John Wiggins. And also we had to check this information. Look at this. It says, read about Mr. Johnson, check the correct sentences and correct the wrong ones. Si la, si la oración está correcta, usted ahí le pone, right? His name is John Wiggins. Uh, si es yes, correct or not. ¿Verdad? Si no, si está correcta, le pone correct. Y luego dice que va a corregir las que están malas. Eh, ¿Cuál es el verdadero nombre? ¿Es John Wick Wilkins? ¿Qué dicen ustedes? ¿Ese es el nombre? Yo. Es John, John Wilson. 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 Ah, ok. So, you had to... John Wilson. Ajá. Exactly. Entonces, usted la va a corregir. Y va a poner si es correcta o incorrecta. Eh, he writes reports every day. He never answers the phone and talks to customers. He often attends meetings in the morning. He never attends meetings in the afternoon. He usually has events in his company. And he has to go to a conference on July 22nd. Entonces usted va a leer cada una de estas. Según el párrafo y... Si hay que corregir, las corregimos. Así que tenemos unos minutitos. We have some minutes to do it. Y luego pues iré preguntando al azar eh, a cada uno de ustedes que me ayude con cada uno. Puede poner un ratito la, la anterior para terminar de copiar. Ok. Eh, también está en el grupo de WhatsApp por si... Para que no lo copie todo. En el grupo de WhatsApp está la oh, presentación. Sí. Por si... Ah, okay. Es que me pone muy lento el teléfono. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Por okay. eso lo copio. All right, ok, that's ok, you can, you can take it. Solo un rato. Ya, yeah. go ahead, go ahead.
Voy a poner la otra, perdón, que molesta tanto. Es que no, no me abre en mi teléfono. Y me pone lento si lo hago en la... ¿Ok? Por favor. Thank you. Tengo una pregunta, teacher. ¿Sí? Con respecto a cómo la que está incorrecta se va a escribir correcta. Siempre va a llevar el his, he. Eh, yes, yes, yes. Como solo es la referencia, entonces usted pone, ah, su nombre es este. Eh, él escribe, en este caso, en la segunda, como estamos usando el pronombre, entonces usamos el pronombre. He writes, si él escribe reportes, o he doesn't write reports. Entonces, eh, ahí, según como, como lo mencione, porque si usted se fija, se ocupa bastante el he. He always answer. Como estamos hablando de él en tercera persona, entonces por eso es que va en he. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right.
Ready. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see the answers together. So we're going. We're going to start for the first one. So you let me know. And uh, well, actually, it's a very interesting reading describing what most of the time you do in the job. So this is this is the part. So let's go, guys. Um, the first statement. So it, it was moved. Let's move. Okay, it's here. All right. Okay. The first one is is correct or not? Is correct or not? It's incorrect. Incorrect. It's incorrect. Okay. What is the what is the correct sentence? His name is John Wilson. Is is John? Hello? Yes, is John Wilson. Okay. Okay, the number two? No. It's incorrect. 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 Uh, what is the correct form? He works in an office email. and he is a human resource manager. Mm hmm. Interesting. He worked in an office. And he is a human resource manager. Okay, that's correct. So we he just- only, He only check email for the company. Uh, this is the number uh, for the number two. Number number two, yes. yes. Okay, okay. Human resources it's, and it's correct. The it's number correct. Th uh, the number three. It's correct. Yes, it's correct. Correct. Okay. Correct. It's correct. So he never answered phones on the phone and talked to customers. So. But are you sure? He yes. always answered the phone and talk to potential employees. Entonces, incorrect. He always is incorrect. Correct. Correct. He always is correct. Exactly. Is correct. It's correct. It's correct. Yes, yes. Es correcto yeah. porque Never. no es con customers. I think that it's correct. It's correct. Porque the sentence says that he never answered the phone and told the customer. It's correct. No, uh -huh. because correct. No. the paragraph he always, he all, I always answer the phone. So he always answered the phone. He never is the nunca. Entonces, always. He always answered the phone always. and talk to potential customers. Entonces aquí le vamos a... Uh, potential employees. Uh, no customers. En este caso, eh, potential employees. Um, entonces le vamos a poner aquí potential no es customer, sino que son employees. Tal vez en ¿Qué? eso difiere. En eso difiere en uh -huh. que son employees. Por eso decíamos que era correcto. Que no... Ajá. Uh, talk to potential employees. No, no talk to customers. Entonces, podríamos decir, entonces nos enfocamos en la corrección. Talk to health. 
nos enfocamos en la corrección. Eh, sería así. Ok, so always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Bueno, ya hicimos la, la corrección. And what about the number four? He often attends meetings in the morning. It's correct. It's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Number five, he never attends meetings in the afternoon. Incorrect. But he Incorrect. says he never. Not so often. Often is. Not so often. often. Not is often. never. Often. Is often. Mm -hmm. He often attend a meeting in the afternoon. Entonces le vamos a poner que es instead of never. Eh, significa que nunca pasa. Never es que nunca pasa. He never attended meetings in the. So what we had to do is we're going to change. Eh, and not so often. He he never attends meetings. En ese caso dejémoslo como correcto. Is it correct or correct? Eh, o sea, si es no often es que no pasa a menudo. O sea, no sucede. No sucede. Entonces podría ser correct. Ok. Exactly. And number six. He usually has events in his company. Incorrect. Incorrect. He always he ha have he has events. Always. Ah. Entonces hay una gran diferencia entre las dos. ¿Qué porcentaje tenía always y qué porcentaje se tenía? Always. Uh, Ajá. 100%. Ajá. Entonces. Y es, 90%. Entonces le vamos a poner acá that he always. Always. So he always has events in the company. So that means that is very common to do that. Es algo bien común porque pasa all the time. Okay. And the last one, the number seven. Look at the number seven. Um, he has to go to a conference on July 22nd. Incorrect. Incorrect. Okay. Incorrect. He attended a conference on July 21st. 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 Okay, that's it. Okay, uh, on July, conference on July 21st. Okay, so we just like um, answer in this way. So we just uh, clarify some vocabulary in some statements. So that's good. All right. Vamos a pasar la asistencia. We're going to pass the attendance list. Um, for this, you can compare uh, the answers here that we just um, read. Exactly. All right. One moment. Eh, Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Brenda Beatriz Calderón. Present. Brian Javier Carmona. Present teacher. Uh, Cristian Ernesto Lazo. Cristian Ernesto Lazo. David Orlando Álvarez. Present teacher. Ok, el hino está. Guillermo Antonio García. Present. Uh, José Arnoldo Mazariego. Present. José Rodrigo Hernández. Present. Eh, Karen Vanessa Moretaya. Present. 
Marisol Betsania Pacheco. Present. Eh, Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. No está. Eh, Mauricio Enrique García. Mauricio Enrique García. Eh, Mauricio Ernesto Gutiérrez. Present. Eh, Mayra Veraliz. Present. Eh, Omar Francisco Hernández. Present. Aira Marleni. Present. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Ok. Y Jenny. Present. Ok, thank you so much. Right. Ok, uh, thank you guys. We're going to go back to, to the following exercise that we're going to develop right here in the class together. And uh, this is a very interesting information. Look at this. I'm oh, sorry. Let me see. It's down there. Exactly this one. Okay, this is the next, next activity. After that, based on the reading in the paragraph one, write a similar paragraph about what you do at your job. So you're going to take into account the exercise that you have already done. Look at this. A similar reading about this. In this case, you're going to talk about uh, something you do right in your job so you can say the name like the information we have here like hello my name is william i work in an office i am a, a human resource manager every day i check emails for the company i always answer the phone i talk to customers in the morning and also often in the afternoon in the company we always have events so you will write a short paragraph like the ones we have here, and we're going to socialize uh, the information here in the class. Entonces, vamos a trabajar en este ejercicio, en este pequeño párrafo, acerca de su propia información. Y luego vamos a socializar en uh, groups this paragraph. Ok, así que uh, we're going to start working on this. Como sabemos a trabajar aquí en el párrafo, acerca de su propia información, right? And later, we're going to socialize with the partners uh, this paragraph. So, I wish you good luck, get ready, and by any chance you have a question, you let me know, and I will be more than happy to help you to work with this. Okay, let's do it.
Teacher, una palabra uh, emisión o emitir. Um, I, I work in travel agency. And uh -huh. I work in a travel uh, agency. Emit. Emit tickets. Is correct? Uh, as you say, oh, make uh, tickets. Emit. You, you can say I emit. Emit. Yes, emit tickets. O oh, también puedo usar la palabra oh. give. I give tickets. Give tickets. Give, give tickets. Emit. Son sinónimos. Puedo usar cualquiera. Oh. Puede, puede decir give out, through off. Son sinónimos. Um, pues. Print. Print. Ajá. Ese es de imprimir, pero print es como imprimir. Uh -huh. Sí, usually print, print. I no print, lo yo. I print the tickets. Uh -huh. Oh, entonces sería I print the tickets. And print I, the tickets. Uh -huh. okay. And give it to okay. and give it to to the to clients. To give give it to clients. Podría ser. Se los da a los clientes o, o solo los imprimes. Oh, okay. Give, give the clients. Dar, okay. uh -huh. give, the dar. Atten attend clients. Is correct. Teacher. Assist, eh, o sea, attend de atender. Assist. Pero, assist, eh, o help. Oh, help. okay. I help. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Teacher, have a question? Yes. Go ahead. Eh, trato de mantener. I try to keep, try to keep. Thanks. Okay, do you want me to write it? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, Thanks. perfect. You're welcome. Vamos a ver, eh, because I need to, I need some volunteers. I have seen some guys that I haven't listened to them talking here in the class. Uh -huh. Let me see. Okay. Share. Hi. How do you say eh, repartir? ¿Cómo repartir las actividades? Eh, en este caso puedo utilizar la palabra, si es compartir, es share. Si es repartir, usted va a ocupar distribute. Ah, okay. eh, ¿Se lo escribo? No, no, eso está bien. Okay, perfect. Gracias. Distribute. Okay, you, you can use it. Finish. Okay. Okay, um, meanwhile, we're going to take advantage. We're going to ask Karen to break the ice. Karen, can you help us your paragraph? It's going to be one of the examples that we can uh, listen here and also we can socialize 
Okay. Pero, pero es algo largo. Ah, sí. We have plenty of time. Tenemos bastante tiempo, no se preocupe. A question. Uh, okay. Respóndale a ella. Yes, Wendy. Sorry. Eh, hacer, pero como, como hacer aplicaciones de, para solicitar visa, ¿cómo sería? Eh, to apply for a visa. Apply es como aplicar o solicitar. Ajá, o hacer como formularios para, para solicitar visa. Ok. Pero eh, es como el, 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 el verbo, no, no sé. <risa> eh, bueno, es que hay varias. Usted, eh, ¿Cómo sería entonces? Hacer formularios. Completar Yo lleno, mejor. lleno los formularios. Ajá, lleno los formularios de visa. Ok, usted puede decir complete. Complete. Ajá. Ok. Y eh, complete the form, por ejemplo. Complete the form. The form. Ajá, complete oh. the form. Ok. All right. Ok, Karen, you can do it. Con ahí, con el coffee. Coffee, coffee. Okay. Hoy no hay coffee, hoy hay juguito. Ok, ok, mejor. <laughs> ok. Hi, my name is Karen Marataya. I work in an office. I'm a marketing assistant. Every day I check my internal and external email. I always download orders for five pages. This pages is Amazon, Etsy, Vive La Fed, WMC and Enson. Generally, I receive orders from special clients and so often receive orders from universities. In my company, never have events, but in my team celebrate the birthdays for the co-workers. We have attended a video conference with the boss once a month. And next day, we have a meeting only with the team and realize an evaluation about each for us and distribute the activities. Yeah. Excellent, I like it, that was great. Very, very clear and specific. Uh, that's awesome, that's really awesome. Okay, so we're going to work in pairs and we're going to share this information with the partner. Así que eh, vamos a formar parejas. Eh, ¿Hay alguien que todavía no haya terminado? Someone who hasn't finished yet. ¿Oye, todos terminaron? Finished. Ok. Ok, vamos a formarlo. Vamos a tener unos minutos. We have a couple of minutes to socialize this information. That, that is good. I mean, así que vamos a regresar with the same people. Solo que vamos a hacer un cambio. porque Uh, some students, they were not. Okay, let me see here. One more time. Uh, yes, okay. Vamos a entrar a los breakout rooms y vamos a compartir nuestro párrafo con nuestro compañero. So we're going to have access to the, to the breakout rooms and we're going to share the paragraph that you have written with the description about your job. Let's go. Brenda, 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 are you there?
Brenda. Hello, Karen. Me quedé yo solita. No llegó nadie. Eh, Brenda, she doesn't answer. Maybe she's not, she's not available. But I will move you to a different group. Okay. I was okay. trying to, I was trying to call her, but she's, um, she's absent. Let me see where you are. One second. Okay. okay. Ah, I know, I know, I know where. Mm, okay, that's the last one. Maybe the internet. I mean, there's a problem with the internet connection. Entra a ese grupo. Yes, yes, please. Okay. Do me the favor. Lo practicamos de nuevo. Uf, díganlo ustedes, ¿sabes? Ok. Hi. My name is Guillermo García. I work in uh, an Mark Place. Uh, I am cashier. Every day, revise, revise date of product. Check my emails for attend clients in your office. Okay. Hello. Cli clients, uh, clients in the office. Oh, sorry. Okay. In the office, yeah. Okay. Hi, my name is uh, Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. I work in an office. I am company accountant. Yes. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a count. Every, uh, account. 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 Uh -huh. Accountant. 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 Okay. Yes. Company, accountant. <laughs> okay. Accountant. Every day I check an answer email for the company. Every day I send shower report. I often attend meeting. While van ejecutivos sería executive. Ejecutivos. Executive. 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 Executive in the morning and in the afternoon. I make bank depositor every day. I present monthly financial statement to manager. Only. Excellent. That was a great job, okay. guys. Congratulations. That was good. Ya lo dijimos, dice, pero el compañero dijo que le quería agregar algo más. Ok, excelente, perfecto, perfecto. You can add. Y teacher, no es que no estemos haciendo nada. <laughs> what, what, about to, what about to go back to the, to the class with everybody? Voy a leer el mío, Tich. Ok. Hello. My name is Ana Lilian. I work in office de tramitaciones. Um, I am manager general. General Every manager. Day, general, general manager. Ok, ok. Sí, 
primeros de género. Eh, tramitaciones, sí. usted dijo tramitaciones. Eh, tramitaciones. Sí, se llama tramitaciones Ulloa. Eh, en este caso, de... puede decir eh, procedures. procedures. Ahí en el chat, procedures. Procedures. Digo oficina o solo procedure. Eh, o sea, eh, oh, procedures significa tramitaciones. Oh. Sí. Hello, my name is Anna Lilian. I work in office procedure. I am general manager. Every day I fill or check email. <clears throat> I am always supervise, supervising the work of, of other people. In the in the company, I I keep control of finances and inventory. Okay, that's okay. And also, that was a great description about the job. So I, I like it. Muy buena descripción. Entonces, usted es una general manager. Excellent. Nice, Anna. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> As a leader. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Bien. Eh, bueno, continúen y dos minutos más y regresamos nuevamente a la plenaria. All right. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for sharing this information. I was listening to some of you, uh, and that was a very nice description. So I can say that we have improved a lot since the very beginning that we started this course. Until now, you are like more fluent. You are uh, more analytic about uh, writing the statement. So I really like it. That was a very, very interesting. So congratulations, guys, because I have seen is improvement. So keep it up working so hard and do your best because you're doing a great job. Así que felicidades para ustedes, chicos. Eh, vamos con la siguiente parte. In this case, we have some expressions. This is actually a very short, a very short um, reading. So look at this. I'm going to make it like a little bit uh, bigger for this. Okay, look at this one. Uh, Mark, I really need that memo, Ray. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Expressions to a state urgency. It's very important. Very important. I really need. I really need. It's very important. Ok, cuando usted diga la palabra important, 
no tiene que sonar importante. Porque la gente dice, ah, teacher, it's because it's important. Entonces, esa es la segunda que en el inglés americano no se utiliza. Cuando usted dice import, la siguiente T es una T muda. Entonces, cuando usted no va a sonar tan, sino que mm, así como que mm, como que como compara la M. Mm, important. Important. It's important. Mm. Eh, no sé si pueden captar la diferencia porque no se pronuncia. Oh, teacher, it's important. Ese tant no se pronuncia así. El inglés nativo no se pronuncia tant. Ok, it's important. It's important. Important. Entonces, ese mm, import. Mm. Ok, vamos a ver. ¿Quién se anima? Oh, it's important. Me. Ok. Important. Important. Ah, ahí está, ahí está. Ahí, así, así se pronuncia. It's important. Imp it's important. Um, that's the way. Alguien más? Somebody Thank else. You. Me, me intentar. <laughs> okay, <laughs> try. Try, you can try. <laughs> me try. Okay. ¿En qué parte está el important? Ahí está, es solo la palabra, important. Important. Ajá, uh -huh. important. It Important. Ahí está sonando la T. No tiene que sonar la T. Important. Important. Ese no. Ajá, no esa es T. Important. No, no, no es así. Important. Important. Esa import. I, mm. Important. Mm. Mm. Important. Está sonando la T. No tiene que sonar la T. It's <risa> no, no, no puedo. <risa> tiene que sonar como una, como que fuera una M. Import. Mm. Import. Important. Mm. Ajá, important. Eso. Important. Ajá, important. Así. Mm. eso, así. <ríe> important. Eso, así. Así. Ok. Important. A ver, ¿alguien más? Somebody else. Me. Import. Okay. Important. Ajá, eso. Important. Eso. Important. Yes, important. Yes, correct. That's the way. Important. Eso. Yes. Oh, guys, you got it. You got it. That's the way. People pronounce the words important. So it's nice to word. It. That's cool. I like it. Entonces tenemos dos expresiones que son importantes, eh, que son expresiones de urgencia. Stay urgency. Stay urgency is important. Vamos a trabajar en la siguiente actividad, eh, que sería esta. Eh, we have a paragraph. Tenemos un pequeño párrafo. Dice, better work. Read the email and organize the activities. Guadalupe needs to do by importance. Aquí es diferente. Aquí dice importance. Importance. Eh, ¿qué, Important. es import ¿Qué es importancia? Entonces, veamos, leamos el párrafo. Luego nos vamos a ir a los breakup rooms en parejas y vamos a escribir, vamos a organizar cuáles son aquellas actividades que ella necesita hacer por nivel de importancia. Y aquí están. First, second, third, fourth. Entonces eh, lo, lo leo una vez, luego regresamos a los breakup rooms. Ok, from, uh, vamos a ver, quiero ver, quiero poner a prueba a alguien aquí. Quiero que me lean este correo. I want, I want you to help me to read this email. This email address. Who wants to help me to read? We saw this one in classes, guys. Ya lo vimos en clases. ¿Cómo, cómo sería? ¿Cómo leeríamos este email? Me, Wendy. Yes, Wendy. <laughs> okay. There, there, Guadalupe. This, Arriba. These are... What? El, el correo, el correo. Necesito alguien que me lea el correo que está arriba. ¿El qué? ¿Dónde dice el correo? El correo. 
from. Uh -huh. Very important. Eh, el correo electrónico important. que está ahí, Daniel Ruiz arroba travers.com. ¿Cómo leería usted ese correo en inglés? Si me dice cómo se dice arroba, con mucho gusto. Vamos a ver, pues esa es la prueba que tengo yo, esa es la prueba que tengo con mis estudiantes. Mi teacher. Sí. Ok, ok. ¿Quién dijo mí? Karen. Ok, Karen. Ok, Karen. Ok. D A N I E L R U I Z at T R A B E R S dot com. Excelente. Super, super. Te decía yo, no, no, no me olvidado. puede. No me pueden fallar mis alumnos. No me pueden fallar mis alumnos con el email. A ver, Karen, ¿y alguien más? Eh, de los que estuvieron en Ana el. Ana Lilia. Ay, Dios mío. Ok, Ana Lilia. Yo confío en ella. Eso ya es maldad. Maldad a la vista. Ok. No, pero tengo una duda. La parte de Travers, ¿se tiene que deletrar o solo, digo, solo se dice Travers? Como en este caso. Eh, por ejemplo, si fuera Gmail, ya no es necesario ocupar Gmail. Si, por ejemplo, fuera eh, Hotmail, ya no es necesario Hotmail porque ya sabemos cuál es. En este sí. caso, Travers, ya posiblemente sí. sea una conocida. Sí, es necesario. Ajá. Okay. Una pregunta. Arroba, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? At. 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 Sí. Y el punto es dot. Dot. That. Ok, Ana Lilian. Bien. Yeah. Mi momento ha llegado. Diga usted. Ha llegado el momento. Vaya pues. Buena hora para morir. <risa> 21 horas con 46 minutos. Ok. Yes. ¿Le voy a correr? Yes, yes. A yes, yes. Ay, pinche. Lo peor es que ya se me olvidó. Lo acabo de leer, Karen, y ya se me olvidó. <risa> eh, D. A. M. I. E. L. R. U. A. Eh, I see. I see. C R A. Mm. No mencionó la, la roba. No mencionó Ay, la roba. Empiezo de nuevo, ok. No, no, el arroba, solo sigue el arroba. At. At. Ajá. C R A B C R S R S Ajá, exacto. R S dot com. Muy bien. Entonces nos vamos a ir a nos vamos a ir en pareja. Uh, we're going to read the paragraph and we're going to take the four most important activities that uh, Guadalupe has to do, right? That's why it says dear Guadalupe. Así que nos vamos a formar en parejas. We're going to, one second. We're going to create new pairs today. And, okay, like this. One second. Karen me tiró al agua, teacher. Ah? No. Karen, no, 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 Thank you. 
Uh, David. Uh, David. Orlando. Uh, David Orlando. So se, se congeló. Ahí está, ahí está. So maybe the, the information was like frozen. So let's see what happened. to do it one hour each day it's very important to send the two latest or latest sales report on may 26 and the right a new welcome letter for the new customers you have one day to do it four hours. Finally, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it, two hours each day. Ay, esa palabra. Organize your week. Thank you, best regard. Uh, best regards. Best regard. Regard. Okay. Tenemos teacher. Yes. Uh, lo tenemos que leer y luego contestar las, las cuatro. Las cuatro. ¿verdad? Actividades más importantes. Así es. Eh, Guadalupe needs to do by importance. Entonces, hay cuatro actividades que son súper importantes that she has to do. Or she needs to do by mm -hmm. order. No, okay. Mm -hmm.
Ya dice, contacto con los tres potenciales, eh, como, con los tres customers que... Bueno. Este, ¿Cómo se llama? Proveedores. Proveedores. Ah, súper, pues esa es la primera. Que realmente necesita... Ajá. Entonces, tener contacto con los primeros tres. Pues, I really need you to contact the first three potential customers. Esa sería la primera. Ajá. Uh -huh. I really, I really uh -huh. need. Dice, call the client from the last contact. Pero ahí no sé cómo responder. You to contact. Mm, pero dice que se, que se contacte una segunda persona. Uh -huh. Realmente necesito que tú te contactes, algo así entiendo yo. Como lo está escribiendo a la Guadalupe, lo está escribiendo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero veamos, yo no lo he leído todo, este, ahorita lo voy a leer todo. Nombre no, sí, lo primero es ese. Porque dice, yo realmente necesito de contacto. En la lista. Que se contacte con Mr. Sánchez. Tres días. Con the new client from the last three weeks. Esa sería la segunda. Espérame que no lo he leído todo. Dem dacto. Commission for June. No entiendo. Pero vamos a ver. Y de ahí le It is very important to send the two last sales report. Ah, oh, very important. Uh -huh. Esto es importante. Que escriba. Y que escriba una nueva carta para los uh -huh. nuevos proveedores. Entonces eso sería ah, el, 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 el segundo. Con the new clients. Eh, David. Se rompió la conexión, teacher. Estaba con Ana Lilian y se desconectó ya primero y después me desconectó a mí. Ok. Uh, es de number eight, right? Ok. Sí. Ok. That's ok. Es el internet, creo que está fallando. ¿Por qué no le da hola? So, maybe he got some problems with the internet connection. Yeah. Let's start. Teacher, yes. Study in pronunciation is correct. Import, inform. Uh, the important, important. Important. Uh -huh. Important. It's important. 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 Send okay. to sell it report. Yes. Important send to sell report. But ya finish. Omar. 
Again, se nos acabó el tiempo, así que vamos a regresar ya, ¿ok? Sorry. Thank you. Was, yeah, thank you. It was great. Hola, hola. Antes de que terminemos, rapidito, vamos a, vamos a decir cuáles serían las actividades que podemos encontrar. What is the first activity? What is the first activity? Un voluntario. Sí. Yes, yes. Sí. Contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sánchez. Ok, excelente. That's the word. Number two, what is the second one? Call the new client from the last three weeks. Last three weeks and give the catalogs, right? And give the catalogs. Give the catalog information for you. Excellent. The number three. Vamos con el número tres. The number three. La tercera. The third one. Send, send to latest sales reports on my... 26 and write a new welcome letter for new customers. Excellent for the new customers. And the last one, the last one. The last one, the last one. Is it Is a store? It's a <laughs> yes. Finally, visit the two store in Santa Tecla. Excellent, in Santa Tecla. Okay, guys, thank you so much for this. Eh, no sé si se encuentra Guillermo acá. Está Guillermo. Está Guillermo por acá, no saben. Um, no, no está, ¿verdad? Ya que Guillermo tiene hoy la... Tiene hoy el refuerzo, entonces... Quiero ver. Uh, ¿Alguien que podría, que podría adelantar su turno? Y sustituir a Guillermo porque no está. Guillermo Antonio García. Después de Guillermo o alguien que no ha podido, que, que no pudo estar la vez anterior. Tiene que reponerlo. Brian no, es, Brian no estuvo. Brian, está por ahí. Teacher, mañana me toca, dice usted. Mañana. Hoy no puede quedarse. El día de mañana le toca a... Quiero ver... A mí, a... pero yo lo tuve. Ajá, mañana. Ajá. ¿Alguien que quiera adelantarse, por ejemplo? Si alguien puede. Mi teacher. Omar eh, Francisco. Omar. Omar. Ok, entonces usted puede quedarse. Bien, vamos a pasar la asistencia. Eh, we finish the class, ok. Ok, let's see here. Eh, Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Eh, Brenda Beatriz Calderón. Present. Eh, Brian Javier Carmona. Cristian Ernesto Lazo. Cristian Ernesto. Eh, David Orlando Álvarez. Present. Eh, Nostalí. Guillermo Antonio García. José Arnoldo Mazariego. Present. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. José Rodrigo Hernández. Present. Eh, Karen Vanessa Morataya. Present. Marisol Bet eh, Betania. Present. Mauricio Antonio. Mauricio Rivera. Mauricio Gutiérrez. Present. Mayra Peraliz. 
Present. Omar Francisco. Present. Zaira Marleni. Present. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Y Jenny. Bueno, chicos. Present. Okay, thank you so much, everybody. Have a beautiful night. Good night. Good night to everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Blessings. Good Blessings. Okay, Omar, Omar Francisco, are you Hello, ready? Teacher. Hello. Yes. Okay, uh, ¿cómo estamos? How are you? Fine. Fine. Eh, ¿Cómo estamos con los contenidos? ¿Cómo ha visto, ha visto este proceso? Eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo se siente? Me parece, me, me gusta más, teacher, el hecho de que estamos entrando en, como en más conversaciones. Uh -huh. por el hecho de la pronunciación eso sí es, es, es parte de, como de, de mis deficiencias y que lo que quiero es, es mejorar hay, hay más práctica uh, que hay yes. más yes. It's, it's more practice. en cuanto a los contenidos ¿cómo los ha visto? ¿ha sentido que ha habido algún contenido que se le ha hecho difícil o por el momento siente usted que va bien con con los temas que no ha tenido ninguna dificultad? Eh, ¿Cómo no? O sea, el, el, el... siempre va a ese grado de, 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 de dificultad. Por ejemplo, ahora estaba, estábamos en lo de eh, hacer las oraciones en, en... Eh, ejemplo, uh, lo que decía de... Eh, I never watch movie at work. Lo que yo no hacía en el trabajo. Pero uh -huh. en mi inicial, en mi, en mi oración inicial, yo, yo coloqué, I don't watch movie at work. O sea, das. Eh, y eso ya lo pasamos. Entonces a mí ese eh, como eh, me quedé todavía. Como que me salía más fácil. I don't watch movie at work. Ah, o sea, la oración está correcta. Pero, es eh, ajá, estamos eh, avanzando. Ajá, este, puede sustituirla, por ejemplo, por never. Ya no hay es necesidad, de, ya no hay necesidad de, de utilizar el don't. I never study. Ajá. Ok, entonces yo lo he tomado, eh, yo lo he tomado, o sea, la oración eh, está correcta, pero debo avanzar. El don, el don, el do, do y das, ya lo pasamos. Uh -huh. Es venir eh, revolucionando. Entonces, eso es lo que todavía se me ha quedado como la parte esa de, de como lo más sencillo y eso es lo que tengo yo que, que ir evolucionando entonces como le digo el adaptarme pero a mí en sí el contenido me parece porque eh, de eso se trata no vamos a estar usando siempre to be do das sino que aquí llaman más cosas más que sí enfocada en el, en el trabajo así es y que cada vez el contenido se va poniendo como un poquito eh, más avanzado porque ya vemos contenidos nuevos, eh, vocabulario nuevo y ya vimos los eh, adverbios de frecuencia para decir I usually, I never, I sometimes, eh, I rarely, I seldom. Entonces estas palabras las vamos utilizando y van siendo nuevas para nosotros. Entonces eh, es parte de, del nuevo vocabulario y esto hay más, tiene mucho más todavía. Las dos semanas que vienen, vienen con más contenido que nos van a servir para ir ampliando más el conocimiento. Thank you. Teacher, eh, esa es otra de las cosas que me, que me parecen, porque realmente al inicio, eh, pues el vocabulario, lo, en base al conocimiento que teníamos anteriormente, era aceptado. Vale, yo eh, esa parte de import siempre lo hemos manejado así. Import, uh, usually. Y ya no es usual, sino que es usual. Import, uh -huh. eh, sometimes, ya no es, eh, ya es sometimes. Es, es, es. Entonces ahora ya se, uh -huh. le va, ya se le va dando forma y, y, y ese paso, esos pasos así, de, de, a mí sí me, sí me han gustado, porque anteriormente, le, si en aquel momento me hubieran dicho en la, en, al inicio cómo se pronunciaba directamente, probablemente sí había sentido un cierto temor al no avanzar. Sí, era no. mucha información 
y se va desglosando, se va desglosando la información. Y, y claro, o sea, la, la pronunciación es súper importante para mí. Si usted se fija, yo a veces interrumpo al estudiante porque está pronunciando mal. Si yo no le interrumpo, el estudiante lo va a decir y va a llegar, va a llegar a la siguiente clase y lo va a volver a decir. Pero cuando usted sabe que tiene que pronunciar una palabra bien, eh, desde la primera clase se le queda y, y en la próxima va a volver a pronunciarla bien. La gente dice eso, la gente dice, ah, es important. Los británicos sí, dicen, dicen, sí. entonces, pero es important. Hoy les voy a mandar un, eh, a través del grupo les voy a mandar un video donde está cómo se pronuncia esa palabra. Eh, cómo se pronuncia important. Eh, va a estar bien interesante. Así que ahí cuando tenga espacio, ahí en el grupo la ve y, y es bastante buena porque hay otras palabras también que se mencionan. Eh, es bastante avanzado, pero usted va a escuchar ahí. Y la idea es que vayamos aprendiendo tanto gramática como a poder hablarlo. Y si lo va a hablar, lo va a hablar bien, lo va a pronunciar bien. Esa es como la meta que tenemos. Ok. Lo otro, teacher, es la parte esa de cuando nos envía esa, ese tipo de información y dice, eh, escuchen. Porque también el escuchar, eh, eh, cuando hacemos los grupos, cada uno trata de pronunciarlo lo, lo más correcto posible. Alguien te dice, no, esto es así o esto es así. Y algunas Ajá. veces nos quedamos, bueno, ojalá el teacher ingrese y que nos diga cómo, cómo es lo correcto. Porque para mí es correcto esto, para ti es correcto esto. Entonces, eh, y puede existir esa, esa confusión. Eh, pero esa parte, cuando nos envía información así eh, de audio, eh, el oído también se eh, capte. Y eso, bueno, al menos a mí, eh, pues no me es fácil y trato de, de, de centrarme. Me recuerdo la vez pasada que me preguntó de topic y yo me quedé en blanco. Y yo, ¿qué, ¿Qué me quiso decir? Y él estaba preguntando por el tema, que, que leyera el tema. Y yo me quedé. Entonces, eso es. Sí, correcto. Pero bueno, entonces eh, lo importante es que vamos a ir eh, cada clase avanzando. El día de mañana tenemos también otro contenido bastante importante donde vamos a practicar más y más conversatorios y nos van a ayudar a, pues, a tener un poquito más naturalidad al hablar. Así okay. que bueno, eso prácticamente sería parte de esta reunión y pues eh, thank you for staying because it's not your turn, pero ya pues ya se nos adelantó, así que gracias y nos veremos el día de Mañana, see you, see you tomorrow, and ready to practice English. All right? Yes. Teacher, solo yes. un último comentario. Sí. Este, estos días yo me, me he conectado, creo que como 30 minutos después. Mm -hmm. Y es porque con el compañero eh, Mauricio hemos estado trabajando en licitaciones. Yo creo que no le he hecho ese comentario, pero sale uh -huh. de fuera de San Salvador, se... Pues, se sacan un resto de documentos, fotocopias y, y ese tipo de cosas, pero creo que aquel no trata, no, no logra conectarse, porque todavía sigue con otras afinidades. Eso es como un comentario nada más, Tiche. Ok, excelente, para tomarlo en cuenta, ¿verdad? Bueno, okay. sí, yo sé, pues sí. ustedes son bien responsables y todo eso, pero sí, lo vamos a tomar mucho en cuenta. Bueno, muchas Thank gracias, you, entonces. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful night. Thank okay, you. bye bye. Bye-bye.